Theorem 12.10 is the volume of a cone. Notice above how when we found the volume of a pyramid, it was one-third the volume of the corresponding prism. We see something similar to the volume of a cone. So we know we could have a cylinder where we know that the volume is base times height or pi r squared h and then we could fit a cone into this cylinder. Funny thing is the volume of the cone is one-third the volume of the cylinder as well. So the volume of a cone is v equals one-third base times height or one-third pi r squared h, where b is the area of the base, h is the height of the cylinder, and r is the radius of the base. Let's try an example here. We want to find the volume of the following cone with a radius of 6 meters and a height of 8 meters. This tells me that r is 6, h is 8. I can look above, use my formula, 1 third pi r squared h. So this gives me 1 third pi 6 squared times height, which is 8. This tells me that my base, which is my pi r squared, is 36 pi. So we take 36 times pi, we get 113.097. So we get 113.097. The height of the cylinder is that 8. And because we're actually finding a cone, not a cylinder, we take one third of this number. Multiplying all these numbers together, I find that my volume is 301.593 meters cubed. And the corresponding volume of the cylinder that fits this cone would be three times that number. So the cylinder would be approximately 900 meters cubed. Okay, one last example. I want you to find the volume of the following composite solid. The base of this is a cube. So try this on your own and then resume the video when you're ready to check your solution. For this solid we have a pyramid on top of a cube where a cube has all equal faces. I'm going to start by finding the volume of the cube. So the volume of my cube, I'll use this face as the base is going to be base times height, which is 6 times 6 times the height of 6. So I get 6 times 6 times 6. This gives me a volume of 216 centimeters cubed. Now let's solve for the volume of the pyramid. Okay, this pyramid has sides of 6 as well. It has a slant height of 5, so we need to find the height height. To do this, I draw a right triangle, which has a hypotenuse of 5 and a base of 3, because that's half of this side length. I'm solving for h. I get h squared plus 3 squared equals 5 squared. So h squared equals 25 minus 9. This gives me 16 h is 4. You could have also seen that this is a 3, 4, 5 triangle. Then the volume of this pyramid is 1 third base times height. So 1 third of 6 times 6 times 4. I get 20, or 36 times 4 times 1 third gives me a volume of 48 centimeters cubed. So my total volume is 216 plus 48, which gives me 264 centimeters cubed. Just add the volumes together.